I, I think Ireland have managed their players really well for the whole year and yet at the end, the last six weeks, I, I've, I, my heart went out for two players in particular. Um, Tyg Furlong looked wrecked. He just, he's still playing well because he's bloody great. But you felt like saying, listen, you need to just go and sleep in a bed for a couple of weeks and mm. see what might happen mm. for you. And CJ Stander, you know, the guy has run and carried himself to a standstill for the last two years. Um, and that's what they need. You know, if they turn up fresh, they have a better chance of, of winning. You can't just put it as another add-on yeah. to what's kind of gone on. Um, there is a sense of a, a different atmosphere down there. It still is a bit of a shock to your system because it's dark at 5.30. You know, you kind of, you fly down, suddenly it's actually, you are in the winter, even though it's warm, it's kind of confusing. Mm. Um, but you can just chill out and relax a little, and you don't have uh, media intrusion, uh, fans intrusion, you know, you're just, you're away from it all, and you can just get a little bit of a break. Mm. Um, but a lot of the guys who are having a break are the guys who aren't playing at the weekend, so yeah. they're, they're going to take this very, very seriously. Well